Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to review the last figure of Wave 4 that I have as of right now. And this is going to be Starkiller, Vader's Apprentice. I believe this is, he's from Wave 4. I haven't been keeping up with the waves and seeing how much, you know, which one's in the waves and stuff, so. But I definitely think this is Wave 4. But um, anyhow, I'm going to set the figure aside. And I'm going to give you a look at the packaging. It has the Karenar logo. The... Life size Darth Maul signed by George Lucas sticker has a Vader's Apprentice Star Killer logo right there. The expanded universe logo. And on the back, it has some of the ships that are being offered as of right now in the vintage collection box. And then right here, it has some more big figures from various waves. And then up here is the rest of the wave. And I already reviewed the Nikto Guard and Oddball. I haven't got Grandma Moff Tarkin yet, and I haven't got Shea Vizsla. Really don't know if I'm gonna get Grandma Moff Tarkin, but I'm definitely, hopefully, gonna try to find Shea Vizsla. But anyway, up here is the Vintage Collections logo or description, whatever you wanna call it. And here's the Star Wars logo with Luke and Leia. So, on to the figure. It's accessories. He comes with this little backpack kind of sort of deal. Armor pouch thing. <laughs> he comes with this other different belt. He comes with two lightsaber hilts. They have a peg on them where you can put it on his belts. There's another lightsaber hilt. And you can get his belt, and you can slide, or not really slide, but try to push them in there. It's kind of hard. But anyway, you get the picture. He comes with two lightsabers. If I can get it out of his hand. Here is another lightsaber. He comes with these, what I want to call them gauntlets, which is an armor piece on his. Give you a look at those. There's another. He also comes with this other armor piece and another belt thing. If you take off his head, and you can take off this piece, and then on the back of the figure you can get this, and it has a peg hole on the back. And you could put the armor piece on the back, like that. Put on his helmet. I mean, excuse me, his head. And this pouch is, oh, excuse me, this belt is very hard to get off. Because I don't, anyway, you're supposed to, I'll get this off. I don't even know if I have it on right. I don't know if it's supposed to go like this or like that. Now that I look at it, I believe this is the front. I have it on backwards. So just bear with me for a moment so I'll get this off. And then his other thing is easy to get on, you just kind of slide him in there. Definitely recommend picking up two of these because you can show both of them. And voila, he looks like this. And me personally, I don't really like the look at how this one looks. I like it with this armor piece on and this belt or whatever. So it does come with a lot of accessories. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It comes with eight accessories, so really good deal since several all the figures have done went up to nine ninety nine each. So basically ten dollars. 
So anyway, let me show you the belt correctly on him. Or what I think is correct. <laughs> so anyway. But while I have everything off real quick, I'm going to give you the articulation and run down. First off, he has a ball jointed head, bowing shoulders and elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball jointed knees, and ball jointed ankles. So just bear with me while I get his piece back on. I don't know why they didn't have any pieces, peg hole thing that will make it a lot easier to get on there. Instead, you gotta slide it up the figure's legs, which is a pain. So that's the only let down of the figure because this figure definitely has a nice sculpt. Kind of hard to slide. Oh. Almost got it. Let me put on his armor piece on his head. Gotta take off this one. Yeah, that's correct. If you're definitely a Force Unleashed fan, this is definitely one for you. Um, it's a really good game, by the way. And I'm not really for sure on which one this is, which Star Killer this is. I don't know if this one is the Force Unleashed one from the Force Unleashed, the first one, one or the second one. Because, you know, the first one ends up dying, and then they make a whole clone, a bunch of them, and only one of them escapes, and all that kind of crazy stuff. So, a very cool figure. You can definitely get this guy in a whole bunch of different poses and stuff. just wish he would have ball-jointed hips instead of swivel. That would make the figure a lot more cooler. But anyhow, you can get him like this. Let me back up the camera some as you can see this. So you put like a figure stand on him. You can get him like running like, or just standing like this, or all kinds of cool stuff. And you can get the lightsaber hilts. And slide them in the slots on the back not really sturdy because they're kinda hard to get in there and that one just fell off so anyhow you just put them on there if you ever get them <laughs> But um, anyhow, give you another look at the figure. It's lightsaber hilts. His little backpack armor type deal. His other belt loop. And this figure makes me think of the Captain Fordo with all his changeable gear. <laughs> I really wish. Hasbro would do this with all their uh, vintage collection figures. But um, anyhow, I'll give you a look at the packaging once more. And I'll end this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more reviews up soon. And it'll be on some Halo figures and stuff like that. And after that... Who knows, I may do some, show you some of my customs and show you some of my dioramas and stuff like that. So anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching again and bye.